Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using the Brave private browser, then just to let you know that uh, late last week in my region, Brave rolled out the latest version upgrade, which is now sitting on version 1.67, and that also bumps up the Chromium platform to version 126. Now, um, if you would like to double check if you have the update, which I'm sure by now, you would have received uh, if you were using Brave over the weekend because Brave is very good at updating itself in the background. And uh, the version and bold for the browser is now sitting on 1.67.116 and the Chromium platform has been bumped up to 126.0.6478.71. Now there's quite a lot going on once again with version 1.67 and um, Brave I find whenever they push out a version upgrade there's lots going on when it comes to front-facing features and also um, features taking place um, under the hood, so to speak. Now, first of all, uh, if you are using the cryptocurrency side of things in the browser, the Web3 side, then um, just to let you know that there's a lot of updates and um, fixes and improvements that have rolled out for that. And if you would like to check that out, you just click on the version and yeah, you'll see Web3 and there we go. You can just read up about that. And um, because if I had to go through all of those improvements, we would be here all day um, um, with this video. Now, starting with some of the so-called key highlights when it comes to general improvements that I think you may be interested in. And this is not everything that rolled out, but just a couple of the key highlights uh, for the purpose of this video. Now, if you are using Brave Rewards, just a quick little uh, toggle they've added here. You'll see this little toggle here. They've added Brave Search Ads toggle to manage Brave Ads on the rewards page. So that's a little bit of a, a setting that's been added there if you are using Brave Rewards. And then Brave Leo, which is the chatbot that's bundled in um, uh, the Brave browser Leo AR. There's quite a lot going on here. Just to mention a couple of highlights. They've added Brave Search support to Brave Leo. Um, they've improved Google Docs compatibility with Brave Leo by supporting full page summarization. They've improved the PDF compatibility with Brave Leo by supporting image based PDFs. They've updated Brave Leo CTA button text for non premium users. So if you are not in, if you are like myself and just using Brave as a so called free user, that will also roll out to you. They've updated the product header for Brave Leo. As we can see here at the top, that's been updated, that header at the top. And there are a couple of other uh, Brave Leo improvements rolling out, but those are just some of the key highlights I thought you may be interested in. And then just to mention uh, the next one as well, they've added permission for location service to help improve geolocation accuracy on Windows and Mac OS. And something else you'll take note of here is if we head into our settings as an example, you'll notice now that they've... Um, implemented dark mode scroll bars, scroll, scroll bars on Windows. So previously, if you had dark mode, these scroll bars used to be like a, a light white color. And now the scroll bars are a little bit darker to obviously compensate for the dark mode if you are using dark mode on your system like I am. So implemented dark mode scroll bars on Windows, which I think is a nice move, just making the UI a little bit more consistent across the board. And if we head into our settings once again, and this time we head to privacy and security, and we scroll right down to the bottom, they've re-added the safety check section yeah, under Brave Settings Privacy, which I think is a nice move because it does pertain to your privacy. They previously moved it out, and now they've re-added it again, which I think is a small little significant improvement if you are using that feature. And if we head up to the main menu and we head to save and share here yeah, in the share menu. I don't know if you can see that correctly in the video. They've updated the share menu icons. So that's just received a little bit of a UI improvement. And then we've got four fixes that are rolling out for the actual browser. So if you have experienced any issues in Brave, just double check. Obviously, you're up to date. And then the big one here, as mentioned, if we head back to our about Brave page is the Chromium platform has also received a good couple of fixes and, and security improvements. And this will include the 21 security fixes that Google rolled out um, last week. 
because obviously a Brave is based on that open source Chromium platform. So there were 21 security fixes and there were nine high severity um, security flaws, which is your second highest after a critical. And those were addressing common Chromium exploits, as I mentioned last week uh, in the Chromium engine. So um, 21 security fixes have rolled out for Brave for the Chromium platform, nine high risk. And then after the version upgrade rolled out, um, when the actual version upgrade rolled out, it was the point release for Chrome was bumped up to 0.56. And then you see now it's on 0.71. And that's because uh, the day after, on the, late on the Friday last week, um, uh, Brave rolled out the same bug fix I posted on for Google Chrome. So that will also include any bug fixes that rolled out to Google Chrome. So quite a lot going on with this latest update. And as mentioned, uh, if you... We're using the browser over the weekend. I'm sure by now that your browser would have been patched because the version upgrade ro rolled out late last week in my part of the world. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.